Hi, my name is Henrik Flodell and I'm the Tools Manager at NXP Semiconductors. Today I want to show you two new development boards that we're bringing out together with Kyle. It is the MCB4300 uh, that is using our dual core LPC4357 part and also the MCB1800 that is using our Cortex-M3 LPC1857 part. Both these boards are available for purchase today from your NXP distributor. You can also purchase them directly from Kyle. Why don't we take a look at them and see what they can do. The dual core LPC4357 contains a Cortex M4 and a Cortex M0 core running at up to 204 MHz. If your application needs high performance features such as advanced DSP functionality or onboard FPU, then this is the device for you. The LPC1857 is based on a Cortex M3 core running at 180 MHz, making it the fastest Cortex M3 MCU on the market today. Both of them have one megabyte of on-chip dual bank flash memory and for added design flexibility they are 100% pin compatible with each other. Among the advanced peripherals on these devices you will find an LCD controller with DMA and programmable resolution up to 1024 x 768. 10 100 Ethernet Mac that can handle high throughput at low CPU load. Two high-speed USB 2 interfaces, one of which has an on-chip file that supports host, device, as well as on-the-go mode, and an external memory controller that supports SRAM, ROM, NOR flash and SD-RAM devices. NXP's unique SPI flash interface, or SPIFI as we sometimes call it, as well as the state configurable timer subsystem and serial GPIO is also available. The SPIFI interface is connected to 4 megabytes of quad SPI flash on the board and the SCT and SGPIO can be accessed through the board's prototyping area. If we take a look at the board, we see all the connectors for the on-chip peripherals. We have the Ethernet, we have the USB, we have the LCD display, and also 16 megabyte each of external SD RAM and NOR flash on the board connected to the external memory controller. You will also find two standard DB9 connectors, one for CAN, the other for the on-chip UART interface, a micro SD connector, a four pin RFID header for connecting to external RFID devices via I2C, a removable lithium battery to maintain power to the real time clock when the board disconnects from the main power supply, and a low power stereo codec with headphone, line in, line out, microphone amplifiers and an onboard loudspeaker for developing applications that produce audio output. The prototyping area of the board allows access to all microcontroller pins. The display is a detachable QVGA color LCD touchscreen. The demo currently running uses the MWIN graphical library from Seger to display which buttons on the board have been pressed. The MWIN package, as well as NXP's USB library, free RTOS, and the LWIP networking stack can all be downloaded for free at lpcware.com. For debugging, the board incorporates both a JTAG interface and a Cortex Debug, Cortex -debug Plus ETM interface. Coupled with a probe such as the U-Link 2, or J-Link from Seger, the serial wire JTAG interface allows flash programming and debugging. Advanced probes such as the U-Link probe adapter or Seger's J-Trace can use the Cortex Debug ETM interface for flash programming and instruction trace debugging. For more information on the LPC1800 and LPC4300 families, please visit our website at www.nxp.com. If you want to know more about the Explorer boards, you can visit kyle.com. You can also visit our website www.lpcware.com for sample projects and other useful resources. And remember, the boards are available for purchase now from your NXP distributor or directly from NGX's website. Thank you for watching.